It's Friday, September 4th, 2020. Welcome to Cage Stage. The Democrats are still at it. They are not letting up with the attacks, the lies, and the hypocrisy. This has driven me to the point of doing something that I was not going to do, and that's publicly profess the direction I'll be voting. Um, I think anybody who follows my videos knows where I stand, my political views. Y'all know I'm conservative for sure, but uh, I've, I've had some people hit me up and say, yeah, we, we know you're conservative or assume that you're voting Republican, but you haven't explicitly said which direction you're voting, who you're voting for, or even if you're voting at all. Now, I did do a video about voting by mail where I called on everybody to not vote by mail because of the problems there. So if I did that, obviously, I will be voting in person, not by mail. But the constant attacks lies, slander, and hypocrisy from the left that just continues and continues and gets even uh, even more aggressive the closer we get to the, uh, the elections has led me to uh, a place where I have no choice at this point. I'm, I'm going to let you know where I stand on this stuff. Nancy Pelosi is ridiculous. She was in the news this week, as y'all know. Um, she went to a hair salon. And, um, and of course, this is in California. So California is a lockdown in a way that no other state is. They're, um, they're a blue state, blue leadership. Gavin Newsom is the, the governor. He's on some, some other stuff, on a whole nother level of what we've seen in America as far as just infringing on citizens' rights. And uh, he's, he's the closest governor to uh, totalitarianism that we see in our country now. And uh, Nancy Pelosi, she, um, of course, majority leader, of the House of Representatives, co Congress, she, um, her district is in California, and in her own district, she, uh, she's making moves and doing things that she will not tolerate anybody else doing, unless you are her, or you're on her side. You're the elite establishment politician. And if so, then you're free to, to do whatever you say is right. And as she saw fit, she contacted a beauty salon, had them open up for her so she could go get her hair done when nobody else is able to. And she was caught on camera within the salon. I don't know if it was security footage, but there were other people there. There were staff and whether it's her staff or the staff of the salon, there were other people in the video and she was walking through and she was around people. And of course she did not have on a mask. So y'all have heard the story. I'm sure I was going to do a separate video about this, but it, it just, uh, again, man, blatant hypocrisy. And it's, it's infuriating when citizens are told they can't do anything and then everything we're told not to do here comes the democrats doing it all uh it, it's despicable so that along with hillary make constantly making remarks uh about joe biden not uh, conceding to donald trump if the election results go in favor of Trump, which if everything plays fair, of course they will. 
he has ridiculous support at this point. But um, just telling Joe Biden not to concede is, is ridiculous at, in any circumstance whatsoever, she said. Um, it's ridiculous. It, at this point, the Dems are saying, we don't care what the people say, how the people vote. If we don't get elected, then we're going to take it. That's what they're saying. So all this to say, I've been wrestling with this uh, this week. And I think more of us do need to speak up, uh, even at the cost of being shamed publicly, canceled publicly, wh whatever you want to call it, the stuff that the, the left likes to do. Um, so be it, you know, because right now, we they're loud they're yelling from the rooftops all their nonsense well i think sensible people intelligent people who think logically consistent consistently who care about america who care about freedom we need to be a voice right now we need to be speaking up and be bold in ways that we have not in the past so i said I, i'm gonna go ahead and and do it publicly on my channel without a shadow of a doubt, 100%, I am voting for Donald J. Trump. I've never had a conviction this strong, especially politically. He'll be the first president I've ever voted for. I didn't vote um, four years ago. And I didn't even start voting. Here I am in my early 40s, and I didn't even start voting until the midterms. I just stayed out of it. It was just messy. But it's so important that we do vote. So I'm calling on y'all. Anybody with sense, if you love your country, you love America, you love freedom, please go out and vote. Please. And I'll say this, I'm gonna wrap this up, but just to kind of finish this off of the reason why I've, I've felt the conviction to speak up about this. As y'all know, I'm studying communism for uh, future videos I'll be doing, I'll, I'll be sharing with you. Uh, we've already started um, kind of skimming the surface, but in my studies, I came across uh, McCarthyism, which I've heard about, but uh, never had a proper context for it. Um, Joe McCarthy was always demonized as I was growing up. I would hear his name, but I'd always had a very negative, um, tie in, a, a very negative, um, con context to his, his name, but I, I didn't know what he did, who he was. And so I'm studying this and it's eerily familiar. I'm going through the McCarthy hearings and it, it just reminds me of William Barr, his testimony and the way Dems were treating him. It reminds me of um, Judge Kavanaugh during his, his hearings. Um, Democrats wouldn't let them speak. They just slander, slander, slander and lie blatantly lie. I mean, even we now have evidence, clear evidence that they lied nonstop. And this is how it was during the McCarthy hearings as well. And so I'm seeing this, I'm studying this, and I, I'll be doing a video on McCarthyism as well, because there's so much out there that's just blatantly false. They've lied about that. This era in the early 50s in American history, very important era. We all need to study this. That uh, uh, primarily that 1950 to 1954, and everybody needs to know McCarthy, who he is truly, what he did. Um, they say that he just went after anybody who had a slight scent of being a communist, that he just attacked attacked and he was vicious and this is not the truth 
communism was a huge threat in this country in, in the the cold war era in in the early 50s um and then even even on uh, to to Reagan until Reagan and so we need to know McCarthy I'll be I'll be getting to that but just connecting the dots seeing that the democrats though the party has changed it it hasn't changed for the better but it's always been bad and the attacks the the tactics are still the same now bringing it on to today it may sound hyperbolic to call Democrats evil, wicked. You say these things and people who just don't know, who hadn't studied the history, they, they may think that I'm, I'm not being reasonable. But again, look at the history of the party and you see the Democratic Party was the party of the KKK. The KKK was the military arm for the Democratic Party. We've talked about that before. The, the Jim Crow laws, those were Democrat laws on the books here in the United States of America. That was Democrat. And even though the, the policies and, and what they're doing now may look different, it's still the same effect. They're doing the same thing they've always done. They're just being sneaky because they're changing terms. They're changing the words they use, the, the vocabulary, but it's still the same oppression that the Democrats are gonna place on American citizens. It's still the same. So look into it, let's go vote vote our convictions according to the knowledge we have of the truth now if you don't know truth you may be your convictions may be to vote a different direction i understand but my prayer for you is that you will care enough to look to seek truth and not to just accept the um the the lies the propaganda that's been pulled over our eyes, uh, don't accept it. Please look into it. I'm praying for you. And I'll see you soon in the next video. Grace and peace.